Our goal was simple but difficult to achieve. We wanted to stop and then reverse the epidemic of childhood obesity, which I believe is the number one public health problem in the United States today. In May of 2006, we worked with representatives of Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper Snapple, PepsiCo, and the American Beverage Association to establish the Alliance School Beverage Agreement, a voluntary agreement through which the beverage industry committed to removing full calorie soft drinks, as well as capping calories and reducing portion sizes on other beverages and providing more nutritious beverage options by the beginning of the 2009-2010 school year. There has been an 88% reduction in the total beverage calories shipped to schools between the first half of 2004-2005 and the first half of 2009-2010 school year. These schools found ways to deliver healthier options to their students without affecting the bottom line. The studies also show that schools do not experience long-term revenue loss by making these changes. So the good news is we have a win-win scenario. We began in May of 2006 with the Alliance for a Healthier Generation, bringing all of these different interests together for a common purpose, to do something about this problem of obesity in our children. As is stated in the report, this is an unmistakable transformation of the landscape of our children's choices of food items. And this is a significant step, not the only one that needs to be made, but a significant step forward in addressing the problem of childhood obesity. It's a brand new day in America's schools. America's leading beverage companies have delivered on our promise to parents, schools, and community leaders. We have delivered on our promise to remove full calorie soft drinks from schools. We have delivered on our promise to reduce the calories from beverages sold in schools. And I have to say it again, the president said it, but I love saying it. We reduce the calories in schools from beverages in schools by 88%. And we've delivered on our promise to change the beverage landscape in schools, shifting to waters, diet drinks, sports drinks, and juices. So the vending machines in America's high schools now provide a range of lower calorie and smaller portion beverages. I cannot tell you how pleased I am by this. I think when we began, a lot of people doubted that the agreements would mean as much as they have or that as many schools would participate as have or that the schools themselves would be as committed to implementing the changes as they have. But so far, so good.